The first philosophical question, since it's presupposed by all subsequent philosophical questions that are derivatives of it, can be formulated as follows. On what basis is an object distinguished? An object should be understood in this context in the broadest sense of the word. All theories and conclusions start from the fact that an object has already been singled out as such. The conceptual world is based on this distinction and it is fundamentally impossible to imagine how it could be uh, otherwise since representation implies a comparison with its object. And as shown earlier, not only does the eye see it itself, it also does not see how it sees and what it sees. The basis of uh, our vision is unknown, but it's precisely this that should be kept in mind before anything uh, is asserted about the mysterious of being. From ancient times to the present day, a picture of a completely different kind has though been observed due to the fact that philosophy hastily jumps over this miracle of miracles in order to quickly start ordering and constructing its con uh, conceptual world. Philosophy, which loses sight of this fundamental question, like in the case of science, is fundamentally characterized by extensive inst instead of intensive movement. The latter requires that philosophy reorientating itself to epoche, that is the gr ancient Greek term for setting aside assumptions and beliefs. So philosophy would then first focus on the question of the nature of the distinction of an object and not on the object themselves, formed as a result of distinction without further consideration in this regard. And the motto of philosophy would then be not towards the things themselves, as in Husserl's pheno phenomenology, but towards the very distinction of things. And the main miracle is that objects as such exist at all, or as Wittgenstein put it, not how the world is, is the mystical, but that it is. So it is the self-evident fact of the existence of an object as such that causes the lack of attention to the ontological basis of an object and makes philosophy historically fundamentally similar to science.